guys. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Girl Boss Next Door. This morning, we are joined by myself, it's Rachel George, and we've got Jill Santa Benez, and look who we have today. Stacey House. Woo! Hey, Stacey. <laughs> I'm hey, so happy hey. to be here. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much. And you're in Los Angeles, just like Rachel is, which is really exciting. Yes, there's so much hust and bustle going around however you say that. <laughs> and we can tell why... by the sun time. Yeah. Stacy and I are both in LA right now, and usually Stacy is on her surfing board, so she's actually just in her house right now. Yeah, I'm usually surfing a wave on the water. It's so fun. I love it. Been doing it for about 12 years, so cool. got to get out there today. That's awesome. Yeah, <laughs> I know. The- I'm I'm so envious of the sunshine over there right now. It's a little cold in the south where I'm in Nashville, so it's a little chilly over here. But we're looking forward to spring. So, um, but what's what's really interesting, you all, you guys met on set, which is great. I, I think I was just like a few years, like I moved here a few years before. I actually got to meet you, Stacey, because I know you and Rachel have been working on set a lot, which is super cool. Like I miss working with Rachel on set. And um, so you actually, let's, let's talk about your book. Let's jump right into it, because I know that Rachel has a lot of questions. Yep, here it is. <laughs> it's Holly in Hollywood. <laughs> uh, oh, diary. my God. Of a girl ride chair driver, a little bit. (laughs) So, yeah, I just, uh, after working in Hollywood, or I'm still working in Hollywood with uh, Rachel, um, over the years, you know, you kind of have your, like, side gigs that you do when, you know, maybe you don't book that big job or whatever. So, um, So I was like, you know, a lot of people are doing Lyft and Uber, and I think, you know, you can, with auditions, you can just stop and start that app whenever you want, so you don't have to be like, I can't come in to work today, (laughs) (laughs) so that was, like, what was appealing to me with the whole auditioning thing, Um, but the book itself is just, it's hilarious, because I had so many characters in my car, I just... (laughs) I just couldn't even believe it every day. I was like, this is like a movie. Like, is this oh, really yeah. happening to me? <laughs> oh, my God. So. I mean, the material is probably priceless. Because, I mean, Stacey's an actress, too. And, you know, she's a published author now. But it's like, I assume that inspiration totally came from all of these very interesting passengers that you had. But when did you say, OK, you know what? I've got to write this down because this is crazy and I need to write this down. <laughs> when did you well, feel like, okay, I'm going to make this into a book? I think it was it was definitely towards the beginning. I I had a passenger who, I, I'm so naive. I thought he was, like, sniffing his an, a menthol energy inhaler, like, just getting, you know, like, some, right. some deep breaths. And I'm like, he's like, you know, doing that. And I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, what you doing? He's like, you know, a little cocaine. <laughs> oh, my God. And I'm just like, um, sir, I'm going to have to pull over. <laughs> In your car. Like, yeah. yeah. It's, it's like, your personal car. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, and he's just like, no, 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 you keep driving. I put I put big cash tip, you know. I used to drive taxi. You know you get paid. It's all good. <laughs> I love the whole like thing. When, when he left the car, did you call somebody and, and just kind of tell them what happened? <laughs> Honestly, I was kind of scared because I was like, what if I get, you know, pulled over by the police? And I don't know what to tell them because I don't want to, like, get an altercation with a druggie, you know. So I wasn't really sure what to do. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So... I don't want you to give everything away, but I can only imagine, you know, all the stories that you have are going to be just wild and crazy. Um, any other memorable goodies that you can give away well actually I was I have to bring up your movie Saint Agatha because I was kind of doing a horror movie at the time it was called The Nun I don't know if you guys saw that movie or heard about it but um yeah so I was actually playing a, a nun on a horror movie and um I was driving that week and I lo and behold I got a nun in the car oh my gosh 
Yeah, and it was pretty <laughs> hilarious because <laughs> she, she, you know, she was just doing her thing. She had to get, uh, they have this app. It picks up old people from like a landline phone. So they, they don't know how to use. Yeah, it's called, I think at the time it was called Go Go Grandpa. <laughs> so I'm not sure if it's still in use or not, but I was like, oh, that's really clever. Um, but she she had called that app and I, lo and behold, come. And, um, you know, she just starts asking me questions and um, she's like, are, are you married? I was like, no, are you? And she's like, oh, I took a vow. <laughs> She got offended. Oh no! And I was like, Oh, oh no, no, no! I wasn't thinking. Wow. I'm sorry. I I know you took a vow. I'm sorry. Oh. <laughs> so oh yeah, I got myself in trouble a lot. I had to like bite my tongue on a like. Do you know how you just say things and you're like, Oh wait, I didn't mean to. <laughs> right, but I mean, you can't you can't be careful around everybody. You really don't know how to act in that situation. So you know, she could have just said, No, honey. You know, this is. This is the way that nuns are, and <laughs> they don't have relationships, only relationships with God. You know, she could have said that, especially because nuns and priests, they're here to be our teachers, you know, through life. Yeah, so. yeah she was actually a really sweet lady. She was um, helping juvenile teens that um, that were just, you know, having problems. She actually, she actually did a lot for them, and she was, she was actually from Ireland, and she told me her whole story about how she wasn't <clears throat> sure about, you know, giving her life like that, but she's very happy now and helping kids. So <laughs> did you did you tell her that you were playing a nun? <laughs> I actually didn't because I had already gotten myself in trouble and it was for a horror movie. So I was right. like, I don't think she's gonna <laughs> like that. <laughs> you just say check out my movie, it's gonna be on Netflix soon. <laughs> yeah, oh she God. probably would right. not like that. <laughs> that oh my awesome. God. Show us your book again. I want to see it. I'm so yes. thrilled. It's so cool. I, I came <laughs> up with like the, I just did, you know, I tried, I didn't, I had some people help me with, uh, you know, editing it because I'm terrible at grammar. So, uh, but yeah, that actually, I, I would say the part about writing a book is um, it's mostly editing. The, the writing is actually pretty easy, but um, editing took me way longer. Uh, I didn't finish it for like three years because I was just kind of wow. taking my time with it. But um, I have this friend who he <clears throat> he inspired me because he wrote his little uh, biography about himself. And he um, he just he's like, you know, Stacey, just write a couple sentences a day. Don't like think right. too much, you know, just have fun. So that really helped me. I was going to ask you, um, you know, obviously uh, we love to talk to women like you who have, you know, just fulfilled a dream. They've smashed a goal. Um, and now you've achieved the success of, uh, as an author. You've already answered the question, but um, I was going to say, would you have words of encouragement for somebody else who was like thinking about writing a book too? If they had an idea or, you know, they had a story to tell, um, but you just said, you know, have fun with it. And you just kind of took it a couple sentences a day, right? Yeah, I think that's what it was. It's, it's not, I think sometimes as we rush, we think we have to get to the destination and that's what's going to give us joy. And to be honest, it, it really steals your your happiness of like, you know, when you say you, you run a race, it's, it's kind of hard to enjoy it until you get the prize. And it's just like, what if we just, you know, jogged and looked at the sun and, you know, taken the wind and the air? And I just feel like we kind of don't give ourselves that prize when we just like, say, I got to get there. I got to get this done. Nah, 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 nah. And it's like, wow, I just missed all these great um, enjoyments that I could have enjoyed. So I think that's cool because you had I mean, you had people around you like your friend that was actually giving you tips and. And I'm sure it kind of made you like think outside the box and in a way that you actually, you know, felt like I don't have to do everything all at once. You know, I can have my own process because a lot of the time, like you said, like the process is really more rewarding than anything. You know, it's it's like it's like your baby. You know, it's like I don't want to rush through this whole thing because it's a new experience and and you have to you have to be proud of it. So congratulations. Yeah, thank you. I think I think 
it it does help to have supportive friends like you guys um, that understand that, you know, the problem with these days is we kind of compare ourselves to everyone else and, sure. oh, they're doing this and they're doing that. And, you know, you never know where your life's going to take you. I, I honestly, I actually wrote a book when I was a kid and I got it in like a little contest. And, you know, I never really thought about writing since I was a kid and it's like there's little little things you do that you're like oh I had this talent that I was so focused on my other talents that I didn't like give this one any energy (laughs) right so but then you were but then you hadn't been in a situation to be inspired to write the right thing yet so you had to go you know certain things in your life before that could happen right I think that I think for me, I, I haven't done any like fiction stories, so I, I I could see myself doing that. But I think for me, it was easy to write because I I already had a story. You know, I had yeah. one every day basically. <laughs> so <laughs> I could totally see this book being a movie too, because we're all we're all actresses, right? I could totally see yeah. this, like, because there's so much drama and there's so much comedy. Like, your comedic timing is awesome. And, like, your your little, like, um, impressions of people are great. Like, if you, because I know you said that this is, the paperback is, is on Amazon and also the yeah. Kindle version. So, you don't have to actually have, you know, the book. You can actually read it on your phone or your Kindle or whatever. And, um, but if you ever want to, you know, think about doing like an audio book, cause you're really funny. Like, it's, yeah, so my like, friends, you're have, reading it. yeah, my friends have told me to, to get onto that. So I definitely, that's something I will, uh, I got to just purchase those, you know, um, the microphones and all that. For sure. So I think, I think that's definitely going to be in the future for sure. <laughs> I think people are going to enjoy it because sometimes, I mean, you're in your car like I used to live in Orange County and I would drive to LA. So it'd be like a two hour process. And I would like slowly move closer and closer to Los Angeles. Cause just cause I'm from Orange County. So like, I loved, you know, being there, but, um, so you have like all this time and like the commute, like Los Angeles is like, so you're just in your car, like forever. Yep. Right. Oh, so people would yeah. love to listen to something lighthearted like this. Like think about it because yeah, they'd be laughing. You'd be like having so many people laughing. Like that's funny. Cause nobody, unless you experience it like acting or whatever, like nobody lives your life. It's like watching or like what, like looking at like behind the scenes pictures, you know, or watching like behind the scenes, like of the making of a movie, you know? So you talking about you really? creating it, you're like giving voice to your book, like in a different way. I think that'd be cool. Yeah. I, I definitely think you're right. I, I even doing stuff like this is so fun because you're just like, wow, I get to see, my book from another observation you know <laughs> and talking about it is just so fun it brings back all the memories so <laughs> it's such a page turner um for everyone listening every car seat every passenger seat every coffee table should have Stacey's book on it um because yeah. it's so funny it's so light-hearted it's easy afternoon reading um I feel like this is actually something like everyone can actually enjoy just a couple pages here or there it just makes you laugh and it makes you feel normal (laughs) yes I I I think joy is like so important in life and if we can laugh at the small things I I try to laugh like once a day even if even if I'm not actually thinking it's funny because they say like even if you pretend laugh, you're still like making those chemicals. Of and course. so, yeah, you, and it even helps people sleep and all those great things. So I, if I can give people that, that's, mm-hmm. that's amazing. <laughs> so. You definitely can and you definitely did. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so yeah. much for joining us today. We're so excited to have you on our show and um, we're so excited to share this with everybody and tell everybody again, because I know people would love to connect with you as an author and I know you're on social media and to talk about your book and see your wonderful posts, where can people connect to you with you and find your book? Uh, I am on Instagram at I am Stacy house and Facebook Stacy house. And also uh, if you just type in hauling Hollywood on Amazon, it'll, it'll all come up here and you'll be able to find it. So that's where you can find me is Instagram mostly. So Stacy, so we have to ask you, what is next for Stacy House? What are you working towards this year? Anything new? 
Yes, I'm working on some children's books and I'm just Yay. starting out and just getting into the drawing and just, you know, adventuring it. And you can look on my Instagram at I am Stacy House for more information about it. Super That's fun. Awesome. Um, as always, all of the links to our guest work will be on our Facebook page on the Girl Boss Next Door. And today's Girl Boss Next Door was definitely Miss Stacey House. Thank you for joining us, Stace. It was a pleasure. Thank you, everybody. This has been Jill Santibanez, Rachel George, and Stacey House. Hi, baby. <laughs>